And he's so <laughs> sharp, he can chop wood with his thoughts. I'd like to welcome a first time guest. He's Larry O'Connor, Breitbart.tv editor in chief. And Look out. Larry, yes. welcome to the show. Uh, what do you make of this whole mess? It seems to it seems to be helping Mr. Kane. He's made two and a half million dollars in the last week or so. Well, yeah, I mean he's getting more airtime, that's for sure. Yes. I, I, you know, I think that Newt Gingrich is kind of kicking himself right now, thinking, "Geez, <laughs> if only I'd have played it smoother." Yeah, you know. True. And, <laughs> but I, you know, here's the here's here's what I think. First of all, I do love the fact that earlier today on Fox News, Niger Innes mm -hmm. said that uh, he's outraged by the media going after this this uh, fearsome. Mandingo sexuality of Herman Cain, and I don't have a lot to add, but I just like saying Mandingo. I remember that. I, I saw that movie in the '70s. I don't have any memory of it except that I really liked it. It was a joy. Was it? Who was in that movie? I don't know, but it was Mandingo Tucker. Don't you remember that? Is Mandingo just Aussie <laughs> costume play? It's what? It's a Mandingo just Aussie costume play. No, you're no, that's I went the to dog a dog and, the, you're and in a bathroom. Oh, you're never mind. Mandingo. Okay. Mandingo. Okay. Uh, P A B. Let's get back to the point. <laughs> sorry. Here. Uh, this woman. You throw Mandingo out there, and I'm going to take it right off track. Yeah. All right. Call me Manny. Come on. P A B. Uh, I covered the Monica thing for a year, and I more than a year, and I watched this unfold in pretty much the same way. But with the hurricane? parties were first. It wasn't yeah, well, a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Look, storm of some and, kind. And almost every accuser in the Monica story and all the stories clustered around it had a lot of personal problem. Look, I don't know yeah. if any of this is true, but the instinct to go after the chick directly yeah. and say she's had banker. Okay, fine. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares right. if Gloria Allred's a creep? Of course she's a creep. Are the charges true? Right. Did Kane satisfactorily answer the questions? I don't think he did. Did you upgrade her hotel or didn't you? It's well, pretty and, simple. And also I, the, the politics here. I mean, you say that he's not qualified to be president. Even more importantly, he's not running for president right now. He's running for the opportunity to run against yeah, but Obama. There's be an election and, in like 20 no, minutes. No, I know that. I mean, and, and, and his team has fallen apart here. And don't they understand? They, they sent out this release saying that she's had all these financial troubles. Don't they realize the optics of that? They're basically saying, who are you going to believe? That yeah. poor woman who has financial exactly. problems or me? And I like the guy a lot, but can you? Right. It's just not the point. The fact that she was on more morning shows today than Yo Gabba Gabba cast, I mean, I think that tells you that she's obviously looking for the cameras. In fact, the fact that he said that he doesn't remember who she is, don't you think that cuts deepest of all? Well, that but, hurt her bad. But also, that, that's <laughs> kind of strange since he apparently, there are several witnesses that they did hug and talk at but this yeah, but event. I, I, but in, I don't remember much of anything uh, before 2004. This was, this was a month ago. <laughs> I, I think he may have thought. in point. He may have thought that she was the uh, the manicurist from Legally Blonde, and so that's where he got confused. All right, I want to move on because this story to me is far more national mail. The catalog. So, Larry. Yes, Greg. Uh, thoughts. Well, Are they going too easy on Lindsay or not easy enough? Well, she was actually concerned. She was upset that she was only there for five hours because okay. it didn't give enough time for her pruno to ferment oh. while she was in there. A little pruno <laughs> reference. Nice Thank reference. you. Well, you know, we're, we're Breitbart is pruno. based in Los Angeles, you yes. know, so we have people on the ground there following this whole thing. Yeah. And, uh, you have people on the ground. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With Lindsay, you have to be on the ground because that's where she is. That's right. And we know for a fact that actually Obama is behind all of this. Oh, really? A lot of people don't know that. But he's actually trying to get quick release of all celebrities who get into trouble. Otherwise, he'll have no one to do fundraisers for him. Oh. So he's very big with, with her and, and... Looking for a quick release. Exactly. Oh. Uh. Bill, uh, your, <laughs> your Playgirl spread ruined your career. Will go. She's already with Josh Napolitano. See, he's going to trout like that too. She'll, say right about the, she'll say it's not in the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about the freckles, though. I think that this isn't something you see it's in about Playboy. Uh, not that I would know, but but Playboy, you don't really see freckles that it's often. It's about freckles, and, and there's something really wonderful about opening the pages. There's something intoxicating. The the thought of oh, a woman. Covered shut it. up, you pervert! <laughs> All right. How many freckles do you Talk have? Coming up. Down, yeah. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Should you ever, Larry? We had a we had a guy on last night, Gavin, who made a good point. He was very pro pro Occupy Wall Street. And then he said it should if it had ended in two weeks, it would have been great. Mm. And it's he did compare it to like the guests that won't leave a party. Right. Is there any way to salvage this? Or, no will it, or will it be romanticized 10 years later as I uh, like there are going to be people that walk around going, I was at Occupy Wall Street. Well, no, because they have crappy music. See, back in the 60s, they had good music, at least, with these same kind of pee-in yeah. crap-ins. Um, we've been categorized, uh, cataloging these, excuse me, over yeah. at the Breitbart sites. And John Nolte of Big Government has a list. I think it's up to 190 items now, individual items. It's called the rap sheet mm -hmm. of things that have happened, arrests, sexual assaults, urine, feces. 
Um, and the videos just keep coming. We're getting complaints because we're putting so many of these videos yeah. up on the sites. But, it, you know, you talk about how... You, you could actually have a separate channel we could. for this stuff. And the problem with, it, the problem with this, uh, this uh, uh, whole phenomenon is it won't stop. Like for a show like this, it's it's not just that it's something that I, I, I find resonates with me because I believe that this is how radicalism ends, that it it's interesting, it's right. funny stuff, it's weird stuff. But no, I want to get we watch the live streams and I'm hooked on them. Yeah, I yeah, keep watching it's, them. It's, but it's, but if you notice that it's happening, it really gets out of control only in urban centers run by a Democrat mayor or a liberal mayor in, in the case of New York. Well, there's, it's it's a ballless mayor is what it is. Um, <laughs> Bill, here's the thing. Um, Speaking of ballless. Yeah, yo, you know, the sick, <laughs> nah, that was unnecessary. <laughs> unnecessary. Only I, Larry, only I can say that to Bill. Um, uh, Larry, Larry, you said Obama was actually behind Lohan's quick release so she could true. do fundraisers for him. In fact, in 2008, she volunteered to get in fun, uh, in, involved in his presidential campaign, uh, including she, she said she would host a number of events for young people. The campaign declined, saying she, quote, is not exactly the kind of high-profile star who would be a positive for us. Wow. I'm yeah. actually surprised that they turned that yeah. down. Uh, you, you would never have guessed that. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, That's what I don't understand about rich people in L.A. Why are you driving? I'm, I, my guess is she ain't rich anymore. Uh, well, that's yeah. exactly it. I don't know. Yeah. It's a good question, Andy. Also, the worst drivers in L.A. are the people who are paid to drive. <laughs> yeah. oh, really? I don't know if you've ever noticed <laughs> that. The bus really drivers, the taxi point. drivers, yeah. horrible drivers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Now we're going to get letters. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. They can't write. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't Oc even know what that means. I don't either. Occupy. Larry, those improv classes are really helping. Wouldn't a third term with Clinton be awesome? It would be. It would. He, For business. He would get into a lot of <laughs> fancy, fun things. Yeah, let's remember, Bill Clinton was president before the advent of the cell phone with a video camera. Oh, God. See, things would be a lot Ooh. different now. Yeah. Um, it would. But, you know, seeing that, it's uh, first of all, kudos for you for opening up Morning Joe to more people than have ever seen Morning <laughs> Joe mm -hmm. here uh, at 3 a.m. on Red Eye. Um, uh, it was sad to see it. And what I really think that Bill Clinton should do is he should replace Hef on the Girls Next Door show. Oh, that's a good Because point. Hef can't do it anymore, and Bill Clinton would be perfect. That, that would actually, he'd cause more damage that way, though. Bill, isn't the real truth? Silence on the part of President Obama would have been better than chiming in and I, piling on. I don't know if, uh, you know, but isn't that what everybody does when they, somebody says something? You kind of just play along. They do, but reporting it, it just, I don't know, it feels like, you know how everyone was giving Herman Cain crap for going on the Kimmel show? Obama should go on Gossip Girls, because it has that <laughs> sense of, oh, you don't like him? I don't like him either. Ooh, Ram! did you see what tie he was wearing? Ooh. <laughs> He's the president of the United States. But you know what, I guess, I, I think maybe it was just, uh, like, that's a thing you do when you're being polite. I do that all the time with when people talk about Bill. Sometimes I'll just talk and say it to myself. Mm. Yeah, no, he does, and that's always on air. Yes, actually. it is. It's a live video. Caught on mic exclusively, yeah. in fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, was there a question? There? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, to, to follow up on what Tucker said, in terms of uh, <laughs> thanks, Bill. Uh, no, but in terms of our stature overseas, I mean, at this point, we have lower rating. America has lower ratings in Egypt right now yeah. than when that evil George Bush was president. And that can only be Bill Schultz's fault. It is Bill <laughs> Schultz's fault. And on that, Larry, special day today? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. PAB. Um... Oh, crap. Like it's my happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy anniversary, Sabrina. Yeah. That's right. Today's a th Andy, thank you for reminding yeah. me. How did you know? Did you marry your cat? My uh, Sabrina's not a cat. <laughs> she's she's not, a teenage she's witch. Not, she's not a witch. <laughs> uh, where can people find you on Twitter, Larry? Larry O'Connor with an O-R at the end. Okay. Yeah. All right.